Hello, board members. Hello, board members. Hello, board members. Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Thursday afternoon? Well, I hope. As promised, we have another food review. Another shout out to our our our, our uh, UK board members in the form of that's right, Long John Silver, the uh, the fish delicacy that it is. Now we did a, a review of a, another more re uh, more uh, regional place called Pete's Fish and Chips not too long ago, back on uh, American Labor Day, and uh, I would say that my uh, the the European board members were underwhelmed by the results of said fish situation. I dare say, Advanced Lamp, do you think mildly un mildly underwhelmed? Okay, that's kind of what I figured. So I'm gonna bring you more of a na uh, a nationwide situation. Now they are slowly fading away. They are slowly going the way of the dinosaur. They are not currently maybe necessarily working. They're not as not as uh, like they used to be. Pretty package. It's a pretty good box. It's a pretty good box here. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. Now this is a basic. This is a basic two-piece fish meal, with a side of fries and corn. Two hush puppies. Seahorse. Wait, seahorse. Is there a seahorse on there? There might be a seahorse on there. Oh yeah, seahorse. If it'll focus. We're no one trick sea pony around these parts. Um, and then I ordered an extra piece of fish because I'm also very hungry. So let's see what happens, shall we? All right, so here's what we got. We've got, in the middle here, we got french fries. We got some crinkle cut potato, you know, some, some, Crisscross fries. Mainly for the stall decks. Gotcha. Two fish for the price of nightmish. <laughs> what? So we got the, the fish. So we got the three pieces of fish here. Which. Let's take a look at these beauties. So. Here we go. We've got. Uh, oct like. Like. octagonal fish here they are a little uh not they're not squares they're like off off kilter here right you got three pieces of these two kite fish yeah and then what i would argue might be the best thing in here hush puppies these are the the round little fried dough balls bites legendary as far as I'm concerned. Look at that. And you get two of those as part of the meal. Now these fries are pretty good, pretty average. <laughs> the poor puppy. Perfectly fine fries. And I will say for being like 40 minutes old, they're still pretty crunchy. They're not like we weirdly like soggy or anything. Would you spring salt, salt and vinegar? No, no salt and vinegar. Now they did give me uh, uh, tartar sauce, but it does not come with uh, uh, vinegar. I would have to supply my own vinegar. Vinegar is just not a thing over here unless you're going to like an authentic British pub or something. That's not, it's not gonna happen. So let's check out one of these, the legendary hush puppies here. Just as good as I remember. And that's literally just like fried, fried dough in there. No meat or nothing, just fried dough. What are the hush puppies again? They're a uh, cornbread I guess dough that's deep fried in the same batter or the same oil that they make the fish with. Well, they are delicious. Like a donut? No, they're crunchier than a donut. Um, and they're deep fried, not baked like a donut would be. But they are delicious, I will say that much. 
Like, you get almost up at Long John Silver and just get, like, two orders of, like, I don't know, like, ten of these or something, and, and just have these, and they'd be probably worth it. But you can really, you can really hear that crunch. And they're delicious. Like, these aren't even warm anymore. Like, like they're just, like, above room temperature. Love that crunch. Oh, I bet. And they're still delicious. So, fresh out of the fryer, they're really good. And then, of course, we got our hexagonal kite fish, uh, fish, uh, uh, fried fish. Which is pretty good. The, the Sonic shaped fish? I guess a little bit. But this is, uh, it's it tastes just like I remember it tasting like last time I had this probably a couple of years ago. It tastes exactly the same. And it's pretty good. Like the batter is very thin. It doesn't have a ton of crunch to it, except on the edges where there's a little excess batter. We have a little crunch there, but otherwise it's just a very nice um, flavor uh, uh, delivery mechanism. This meal, this meal, with the extra piece of fish cost me, I think it was like $12.50. Um, and it but it did not come with a drink. I have my own drink here. They did not get a they did not give you a drink. You have to order the drink separately. They also have chicken in the same kind of batter and fried the same kind of way. And they have shrimp. Uh, like a, a fried shrimp. <laughs> Blasphemy. It's a little weird that they don't give you a drink with it, but. And I will say that the location that I went to, they were doing fine. When I pulled up, there were several cars in the parking lot. And as I was waiting in line, there was one car in front of me and about four cars piled up behind me very rapidly in the, the go through the drive through line. So I will say that the, the location I went to is doing okay, it would seem. It's a little late for for lunch and way too early for dinner. So of a late lunch is still pretty busy. They're doing fine. They need that kite-shaped fish? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Now, the last time I went, they didn't have the crinkle-cut fries. They had, a, like, a more standard, like, square fry. But I like a good crinkle cut fry, so I think this is an upgrade, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know why they taste different than normal fries, but they do to me. I guess we can also try the tartar sauce, and I do have the corn. <laughs> Add extra holes to it. That's what it is. This looks like some pretty bog standard out of like a probably a frozen bag or can corn. I'm not expecting much with the corn. It's like Swiss cheese. The more holes it has, the more cheese it is. <laughs> um, there's a few side options. Uh, coleslaw. This. Green beans. Um, what was the other? And there's one other one they had besides the french fries. Uh, I'm not a fan of coleslaw, and I'm, I, the corn sounded better than the green beans. And again, just very basic corn on the, like, you know, loose corn. Mushy peas. There was no mushy peas at my location.
What's a hate with mushy peas? Mushy peas just aren't really much of a thing around here. It's actually not bad. It's like probably lightly buttered. But it doesn't taste like f dry or like freezer burnt or anything. That's, that's perfectly acceptable like corn. A little, a little bit sweet, which isn't unusual. If you ever stop at the UK, you get to have mushy peas and ask for bits? Okay, mushy peas and bits. Got it. So all in all, I would say that Longchamp Silver is, is exactly the same it has kind of been for years. With an upgrade to the fries, in my opinion. Tea cake, tea cake is also a must. Okay. I mean, tea cake sounds good. I will say one downside to this stuff, though. It is a little oily. You can kind of taste that fry oil. So if you want something that, that tastes real, like, healthy or something, this may be not your thing, but it does taste good. Have a haggis if you stop in Scotland. I've always wanted to try haggis. It sounds like grossly decadent, and I'm very curious to try it. Tea cake is buttered bread, and you either get a long tea cake or a fluffy tea cake. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to think what the equivalent in the U.S. would be then. Maybe like a lemon bread, like a lemon bread cake. Remember correctly, it was the health concerns that started Long John Silver's downfall. I believe it. Like I said, it's kind of oily. It's It's got a little grease to it. I mean, you should expect that with fried fish, but with the health consciousness of the, you know, the, the current US, it's not surprising. You don't really ask for lightly battered. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because, I mean, the batter is what's going to hold most of that, right? All right, I'm going to try some of their tartar sauce from the from the little baggie, the little packet. Not usually a huge tartar sauce guy, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's not. So let's find out. A little tartar sauce on there. I like they were rated most unhealthy fast food meal multiple years in a row or something. Wow, that is hilariously sad if true. Hmm. Okay, they have a very... Okay. There might be some vinegar in their tartar sauce. It has a little bit of a different... It is not a sweet tartar sauce. It is definitely like a, a, a little bit more bitter tartar sauce. I don't think it's bad or anything. Like, it's gone bad. I think it's just how they choose to do their tartar sauce. Yeah. I think their tartar sauce has got to be vinegar based or something. The more unhealthy, the more delicious it is. Sometimes. Sometimes. So I think I will continue to not be a tartar sauce fan. At least, at least not the tartar sauce from um, Long John Silver's. I do think I remember seeing vinegar at Long John Silver's before, although that was so many years ago. Might have just have to ask for it. Could be. Do they have chip curry? I don't know what that is, so I don't... I can't say yes or no. I don't think so. They don't have anything called chip curry on the menu. But they might have the American equivalent. A yellowish curry that was invented for fish and chips. Um... 
Actually, now that you mention it, I think they might have had rice. But it didn't specifically mention it being like a flavored rice or anything. So it might have just been like a basic white rice. I think that was the other side you could get was just rice. The American equivalent is yellow mustard. <laughs> well, there's definitely no yellow mustard, but I might have been able to get some. No, not a rice, a saucy curry. The, no, I don't think so then. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen like a yellow sauce for fish anywhere. I feel like I have. Hmm. You know what? There's this, uh, there's a local lunch, uh, breakfast and lunch place that on Fridays does a f all you can eat fish fry thing. And I think one of the things that comes with theirs is you can get, they give you like a yellow sauce that goes along with theirs, but I don't know if I'd call it a curry. But yeah. So overall, I would say Long John Silver's has not changed much in the last 20 years. They're basically doing the same thing. Um, but the only real difference is probably the fries. Hush Puppy tastes the same. The fish tastes the same. The corn was adequate, which means it tastes the same. Um, the price has probably gone up a little bit. I still don't care for their tartar sauce. So yeah, I would say overall, nothing has changed much. Long John Silver's is exactly how you remember it being. Whether you like that or not is up to you, but it is exactly the same as it used to be. To step up from Pete's? I would say yes, I agree, I think. I think Pete's is a lot cheaper, and I think for what you're paying, you're getting a pretty good deal with Pete's. But it's a little bit more basic. Lack of salt and vinegar is a negative one for me. I mean, maybe if I went inside, I could get salt and vinegar, but at the drive-thru... I didn't, I didn't think to ask for it. Hush Puppies is interesting. Crinkled Fries is different. Yeah, yeah. Hush Puppies are good. I, I mean, I think most places I've ever gone that offered Hush Puppies, they turn out pretty good. Needs mushy peas and bits. Yeah. Tea cake is optional. Fair. I mean, I didn't look at their dessert menu. Maybe they do have something that's something equivalent if I looked on the dessert menu. And no drink is a crime. I completely agree. For as cheap as soda is... There's no reason to be charging separate for like $3 for a large soda. It's insane. So overall, I give it five fishes out of nine. Fair. Slightly above average. Like, slightly above mediocre is correct. I would agree with this, this assessment. Battered fish. It isn't too crunchy. It comes with good fries and good hush puppies and completely average corn or vegetable. Hit up, hit up Long John Silver's. Just understand it's a little, it's a little oily, a little greasy. Overall, still enjoyable though. All the lurkers, thank you. You have the Twitch program. We always appreciate you. How many check the VODs here on Twitch or check the VODs in the YouTube repository? It's always greatly appreciated. Seeing those numbers helps keep me motivated. If you need a well thought out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hill Brook Inc thinking solutions and uh i think that's gonna be it for me everyone i hope you have a good rest of whatever you're up to and um yeah yeah i think that'll be it bye